In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an auto clicker in Java so that when you're playing your video games or maybe you're doing software testing, you can have the, the Java program do auto clicking for you. Um, I'm doing this for my Roblox tutorial because then I'm going to do a video there to show you how to detect an auto clicker. And then I'll come back here and I'll show you how to get around the auto clicker detection systems. So it's a little self perpetuating machine here. But let me go ahead and get started on my Java project. Let's make an auto clicker. Let's create Java project. I'm going to say project name auto clicker. There we go. Finish. And I'll open up auto clicker. Go to source. I'm going to add two classes. The first one is going to be the app. I'm going to put a package in here com simtech game development dot my clicker all right and then here i'll just call this app this is going to be my main my main class click that public static void main and go ahead and hit finish get rid of this to do we already know we have to do we have to do something there right click again on the package add another class call this one my clicker Oops, I got an error. There you go, my clicker. All right, let's look, work on my clicker first. So I'm going to use a robot class. It comes with Java, AWT. So this is great for software testing. So I'll do a control shift O. It's under the AWT package. And we're going to get two member variables. We'll do a click delay. And it's 400. And then we'll do a uh, release delay. And we'll say 200, 200 milliseconds. Uh, let's see. Now we need a, a constructor. So public my clicker, open close brackets, and we will instantiate our robot. And that is going to be, want to be in a try catch. So just hover over that and then hit, hit surrounds with try catch. Get rid of the to do. We have done enough there. And now we'll do a private uh, public method. We did this. We're going to call this from our app public void click mouse. And we'll get the mouse button in. There we go. And we'll do robot mouse press it's going to be button robot we're going to do a delay and we'll wait um what's it click delay release delay release delay robot oops mouse released and that's going to be click delay that's in between clicks not click delay that's going to be button sorry i'm getting ahead of myself now I'm going to do another delay, and that's going to be the delay. Click delay. There we go. So we got our, our press, a delay, a release, and a delay. So that's a pretty easy pattern to pick up if you're doing an auto-click detector. And then you can check to see your mouse location, too. If it's not moving at all, you know that there's something up. But that's for another video. Let's go back to app, and let's get that thing started. So in my app, I'm going to make a little J-frame. So I'm going to say app extends jframe and implements action listener there we go control shift o to import those app is complaining because action listener says you are going to implement an action of uh was this action performed so we just click that add unimplemented methods let's go ahead and instantiate our app and make a constructor public app and we'll set bounds so this is going to be the, the, basically the size of the j frame but set bounds lets you change where this is located so i'm going to instantiate this window at 10 and 10 pixels so up in the upper left but with a little bit of an inset then i'm going to make the width 300 pixels and the height 200 pixels I'm going to set visible to true and I'm going to set my default close operation to 
exit on close so that the little arrow in the upper right corner will actually shut down the program. So let's just bring that up real quick, take a look. Uh, looking good. So it's just a tiny little window. That's good. And we want to put some components in there. So we need um, a text field to put how many clips we want. So I'm going to say J text field. Let's say num of clicks TF. I'll do a J button for OK button. Control Shift O to import those. Let's go down here. Let's get a container to put that stuff on. So we'll say container C get get content pane. Control Shift O to import my container. I'm going to do a J panel for my center panel. New J panel. Control Shift O. And I'm going to do a J panel for the south panel. That's where we're going to put my button. New J panel for the south. Let's go ahead and instantiate some stuff for our center panel. So I'll need a J label. And I'll just call it LBL because we only have one label. New J label. Let me call this, give it the text, uh, number of clicks. Control Shift O. We'll implement that, or we added that. Um, our number of clicks TF. New. And that's a J text field. And we'll give it a width of 10. I think that's 10 characters, actually. At a, at a certain font, at the default font, I believe. All right now, we'll do the south panel stuff. Let's do our OK button. OK button, new, J button. And this is the text that goes on the button. We'll just say OK. Now we need to add our components to our panels. So we'll say center panel, add. Um, we want our label, center panel, add. We want our number of clicks TF and south panel add our OK button. There we go. Uh, kind of make a lot of typos there. Now we just have to add those panels to our to our content pane. So content pane has a default layout of border layout. So I'm going to say center panel, comma border layout and this is how you'll know to put it in the center java knows how to do that south panel border layout south Let's see what that looks like Let's see if we got everything on there ah looking good button still doesn't work though let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that so on our okay button say okay button uh, what is it add action listener this because this object is going to have our action listener we implemented it here and then this is our action performed um, so down here check to make sure this is if this is arg zero if it's not arg zero put whatever you have here you might get an e but i'm going to go object and go arg zero right oops i'm going to do I was, so, I was so concerned about the arg0, I needed to get a variable. I do src for source. I'm going to get source. All right, so this and this have to match. All right, so the default, um, the default uh, parameter there isn't always arg0. So if source equals equals OK button, let's go ahead and print out click. In parentheses, in speech quotes. Sorry. There we go. Let's run it. Click, 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 click. Ah, we're getting clicks. Good, good, good. Now we can add some logic. So I want to get my clicker. I want to instantiate my clicker. I'm going to go up here to the top. Member variables. I'm going to say my clicker. Clicker equals new my clicker. Now I have an instantiated clicker. And I can remember how to spell that. Go down here, get rid of our printout. We don't need that. Let's say int 
clicks equals integer. Now we should do some error checking here, but we're not going to because of time. So if somebody puts something in the text, uh, the number of clicks text field, that's not a number or leaves it blank, you'll get an error. I'll say get text. And then this is going to parse this into a number. All right, now we're going to sleep because we've got to get our, we're going to hit our OK button. We get the number of clicks and then we have to get our mouse in position. So we're going to do the thread sleep and I'll give it 500 mil or 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. This is complaining that you need to try catch. So we'll do that. There we go. I love it when it just adds code for me. Go down here, we get our clicker. Let's do our for loop for int i equals zero. Now we're going to go up to the number of clicks we specified, i plus plus. We're going to get our clicker, and then we're going to do our mouse click. And then we're going to use this input event button mask, button one mask. I had to look that up, I couldn't remember it. That's kind of, that's not intuitive. And I'll just do a little print statement down here, say we're finished finished. All right, now when you uh, bundle this up in an executable jar and use it as a regular program, you're not going to get these print statements, but we're just testing here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to bring up my Roblox game so I can test this. All right, so here's my Roblox game where if I click on this block button, it adds a block to the world, right? So I want to do my auto clicker for that. So let's go back over to our um, what Eclipse and let's run that. So I'm going to say, okay, and I'm going to say what, 20 clicks. I'm going to hit okay here, and I have five seconds to get into place. There we go. Bring this up, and I'm just going to hover over, and soon it'll start. There we go. We're adding blocks. Yeah, that's looking good. I should have spawned this off in its own thread because it, it tied up the it tied up the OK button, but we can do it. It's working. So you can do, and this this is really for like software testing, but you could use it for a game um, game enhancement. We won't call it exploitation. We'll call it enhancement. All right. So if you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you in the next video.